All right, here's a recap of our Walt Disney World trip. Uh, I hate watching videos where somebody's just sitting here talking, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep it short. Uh, we had a pretty good time. Uh, and I'll give you what worked pretty good and what didn't go so well for us. I got some notes, so when you see me looking down, uh, that's what I'm looking at. Um, let's start with the bed, I guess. Uh, what went wrong or what didn't go quite as good as we hoped. Uh, the check-in to me at the Fort Wilderness campground was kind of a hassle. We've done it numerous times. Uh, I had to show my ID three times to prove it was me. Just ask me and I'll tell you it's me. So uh, anyway, that was kind of a hassle. They didn't like our golf cart. They wanted us to rent their golf cart, I guess. Um, but we had to get insurance on it. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, maybe I should have, but uh, I've got insurance on my boat when I fish tournaments. So it kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, safety third. But so that was kind of a hassle the way that that whole deal unfolded. Uh, anyway, we got to our campsite. Uh, the campground in general uh, was pretty empty. Uh, you can see our other videos kind of go through one of the loops, uh, the loop that we were on actually. Uh, but all of the loops were pretty empty. I mean, you pretty much could have got a whole loop to yourself. I actually saw one guy uh, actually had the whole loop to himself, not ours, but a different one. Um, so, Anyway, so there was that. Um, the golf cart was another issue, in a sense. Uh, it was new to us, so we had just bought it. It was used, but and I didn't give that much for it. It was just kind of a song and a dance, but a little bit more. But uh, aside from that, it would not charge the batteries. Um, I've got that fixed today. I brought it back to the guy I bought it from. Very nice. Uh, really cool about it. He tried to help me the best he could from there, uh, but we couldn't. So it turns out it was a bad battery charger. Uh, so we were limited the whole week by just what was in the charge, uh, the charge that was in the batteries already. Uh, so that was an issue. Uh, other issue we had is our golf cart does not have lights. Uh, so that's something I get to install. So it'll be fun. Uh, and we kind of got fussed at a little bit because we were too close to dark. Uh, it was still daylight, but I guess it was too close to dark and they didn't like that. So, um, aside from that, it rained every afternoon, if you could imagine that in the state of Florida. It is a Florida thing every afternoon. Rained a lot, actually. But So we got rained out a lot of the afternoons we were pretty much just half day kind of people, so we didn't expect to do a lot in the afternoon anyway, but there was a few things we wanted to do, uh, so we got rained out. Uh, and the only other thing that was negative was the uh, on the drive home, uh, we're in a Class A motorhome, and the rubber around the front windshield uh, came loose, um, and it was just flopping in the breeze. Uh, kind of startled me when it first did it, but. So that's something I got to get fixed. Now on to the good stuff. Uh, what went well? Uh, we drove there uh, in two days. We drove back home in two days also. Um, I'm usually one day. Uh, Michelle likes to do it in two days. So two days it was. Uh, and that was uneventful, except for the people in Atlanta have no idea how to drive. Every single time you will at least have one, two, three wrecks, backups, Atlanta will slow you down. Um, reservations. Uh, most of the time when we go, which is usually not the summer, uh, I've been in the summer a couple of times before and I said I would never do it again and here we are doing it again. Um, usually those were millions of people there it seemed like. Uh, the reservations at the restaurants that we like, uh, we got those last minute. Uh, who would have thought? Uh, usually those are very hard for us to get. We've been several times, uh, as an example, at the Hollywood Studios, I still call it MGM. Uh, there is a restaurant called the 50s Diner. We really enjoy that restaurant, and there's been several times we've been to Disney, and we could never even get a reservation, even checking that one months in advance. When it fills up, it fills up. Uh, we got that one last minute, same day. 
Um, some of the other restaurants were exactly the same. Uh, one of them at uh, Magic Kingdom, the Tavern. Uh, I like that one. Um, we did make a reservation, but somehow that messed up, and we ended up being a walk-in, just standby. Took three minutes, maybe. They called us, said your table's ready. Uh, so anyway, it's very easy to get reservations. Um, that's unexpected. Uh, far as the parks go, we usually try to do the early entry at 8.30. Most people, I guess, are sleeping. Uh, they're not interested in getting up that early. Uh, so in the morning, it is very empty. There's just not a lot of people there. We got to ride lots of rides um, prior to the crowd showing up. And we only go for half a day, as I said earlier. So they kind of worked for us. As the crowd started to come in, we would go away. Uh, go back and uh, enjoy the day, take the dogs to the dog park. Uh, dogs had a great time. Um, we went to the dog park two or three times. We walked around our loop many times. Uh, so they had a good time. Um, and then the only thing I got is we're going back in December. We like to go in December and decorate. Um, that's a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to going back in December uh, this year, and uh, we'll go again next year as well. So that's all I got for you. Sorry for just the talking head. Uh, if you've made it this far, um, like, subscribe, you know, all the fun stuff. So until next time, see you later.